Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we're going to be doing some actual, real KF2 map. We're going to do, uh, I guess we did do Biolapse and kind of one on that one. So we did do an actual suicidal run on uh, Gunslinger, so that's good. Biotics Lab I haven't done in a very long time, so let's go ahead and do that. I did run it, I hopped into an online game that was doing it about a month ago. Before that, it would have been, honestly, a few years since I uh, I last ran in this map. So it's, uh, this feels a little bit loud. I want to turn the music down just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Honestly, it's not one of my favorite maps. That's kind of why I don't play it often. Hello. I think that where I want to be is over here, but I want to go up this way for it. It's a little bit less of a, you know... Knock out your knee. Knock out your knee. And you come from behind. Nah, we're good. You're not a thing that I need to hit the knee of. Hello. Anything else up here that I need to worry about? No, we're good. Just run! Aw, oh, yeah. Pop, pop. I'm uh, thinking about how we're going to handle uh, recording for this because uh, I the last week, week two, we episodes 15 to 28, I, uh, I recorded them pretty much as we went. So like the episodes were recorded oftentimes hours before they went up. That's not a good strategy because especially once I go back to work, I'm not going to have the time every day to record it. It's more likely that I'll have, you know, a bunch of hours in one day uh, once a week to record a bunch of videos. Because I also want to be able to do other things and I want to be able to invest like a lot of time into those instead of have it kind of broken up. Anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do is I am going to be recording. Mm, let's get armor. I'm going to rely on the armor a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record all of the videos today. And throughout the week, I'm going to record a couple of online. You know, as I play, I'll just record it. And uh, if I get any good ones, then, uh, then I'll just put them into the next week's folder. And then next recording session, I just have less videos to record, you know? Instead of... Uh, Worrying about that, because I'm thinking like, okay, how are we gonna get the online stuff in if I'm gonna be doing it that way? So you know, I'll just I'll just record the online ones throughout the week for the next week, and then um, however many we get, we get. Please, and I think that'll work out best for us. Hello. Remember in the uh, in the beta, my. Uh, My friends and I were uh, playing around with this map a lot because it was uh, it was really fun because it was a difficult map and one of the first maps. Um, so like you only had so many maps from it. Like you're basically doing outpost and this and that was that was it. Um, I think there were other maps. I can't remember which ones because those are the only maps we were really doing. Um, but we would. Uh, We'd get the double barrel and we'd shoot the, the Zeds off that. It didn't actually kill them in there. Actually, I think it might have a couple of times. Um, but it would mostly just kill them with the double barrel. And their ragdoll would fly in there and we'd laugh at it because it was uh, it was good fun. And like back then, that was us discovering that like bits of Zed exist. You know, <laughs> like that was the first time we played this game so it was uh, it was it was good it was fun which i could go back to that phase of discovery for uh for kf2 wish i could go back to that phase of discovery for a lot of things to be honest with you i mean it's kind of a 
We're not going to be able to upgrade this this time, huh? Because I went for the armor. Oh, you know yes. Just commit, get armor again. It's a waste of money, but we have enough money, so we should be fine. What's that one? Pokemon Go! Something happened there. Probably found a, probably found a candy. I have it on the most obnoxious um, ringtone I can find, but it's like I put it on the most obnoxious ringtone I could find because I'm like, yeah, it'll annoy me into making a proper ringtone, and I'm like, it's kind of just grown on me. So I'm not sure I'm gonna make a proper ringtone because I'm like, I just like this, you know. Boom. I don't live in Darwin. I live in BC. I don't think there's any Darwin in BC. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Ooh, both of them? No, just the one. Mm, we're gonna have to kind of retreat up here a little bit just for a moment. We got a scrake over there. That's fine. I discovered this, uh, this program called Webflow, I think it's called, which is kind of like a, a WYSIWYG for um, web development, but we're gonna have to go this way because we got the scrake coming up. It's kind of like a WYSIWYG. Uh, it is a WYSIWYG. Um, but rather than like positioning things and then it just kind of making code, you have to like put in an element, tell it, you know, is it right aligned, left aligned? So it's kind of like a, a visual editor rather than a WYSIWYG. And I'm not sure like literally what the differences are between, you know, a, a visual editor versus a WYSIWYG or whatever. I mean, I'm not up with it, you know, but to me, it's kind of like, different from the WYSIWYGs that I'm used to, and uh, I'm thinking it might help me with making my own website a little bit more updated and uh, modern. It seems really easy to use. You know, you just put down a div, be like, yeah, I want it to be like big up at the top, you know, and then it's like, boom, there it is. It's, it's doing that now. It's like, cool, you know, like, I'm into that. Uh, let's just get ammunition, make sure we have it. Can't stand on top of this, even though there's like a little pseudo staircase. What bad game. Oh! Nope, not gonna happen. That's okay. Let's get back in here. I like this little spot up here. I'm not sure what I want the website to be because I'm like, I kind of want it to be a portfolio for when I'm like applying for a job, you know, so I can send people there and be like, this is what I do, these are the things I've done, you know, just to have that there. And then I'm also like, yeah, but the main thing I do these days anyway is, is YouTube, so I really want it to be a website that you can go to for information on me as a YouTuber. I'm like, I guess that's a portfolio, but how do you make like... I mean, I guess it's just a, like any other person who has multiple disciplines, you know, like designer and developer, but like, that's kind of more related than like, you know, backend developer and also YouTuber, you know, like, hop, nope, that's exploding. Oh, that instant reload, because it, like, popped at the very end of the... Okay, yeah, 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 you're good. I see you. What do we got down here? Anything dangerous? Nah, we're good, we're good. I want to pop you. 
I don't like you. I don't like any of you, really. So I've been, uh, I've been thinking about how I want it to be laid out, and I'm like, I think I want to just have, like, the homepage be, um, my YouTube stuff, so there'll be, you know, social links and all that for the, uh, the social media aspect of my existence, and then, um, I'll have a separate page for, uh, you know, programming or whatever. This is not where I want to be in the slightest. Why did I walk down that way? What a bad idea. Nothing good could have come of that. But then I'm also like, well, it would be like way nicer if I could kind of merge the two into one piece, you know? And I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do that if I'm gonna do that at all. We got a real fleshy. This is not a problem. I did uh, end up wasting a couple extra shots over what I would have liked to have done, but all in all, acceptable performance. Should have another fleshy coming, but he doesn't sound enraged, so that's fine. Goodness gracious. Uh, no, I think it might have been just the other uh, Scrakes. Where's the others at? So we've got Scrake there, Scrake there, and another Scrake? Yeah, just three Scrakes. That's fine. Three Scrakes never hurt nobody. I do end up using a couple extra shots on Scrakes sometimes, because I'm not used to the, uh, the aim completely yet. Just, I want you to be straight on me. But it feels good, because uh, they get absolutely destroyed. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, you know, people are going to hire me for, you know, a programming job, which honestly isn't going to happen anyway. Um, I don't really think that I would want that. And I don't have too many projects that would... Oops, shouldn't have done that. I don't have too many projects that would really impress somebody too much anyway. How did I do that? I guess that's better since I am using the deagles primarily. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything that would really impress people too much. I have like a game engine made in rain meter and stuff, but it's like most people aren't really going to care about that because they don't, A, they don't know what rain meter is. You know, I'm, I'm talking about rain meter here and even you guys are like, for the most part, I mean, there's, there's probably some of you who know. And honestly, because I am so involved in the Rain Meter community, it's probably a pretty high concentration of you. But, um, hello, Hans. Um, you know, and most people aren't going to know what that is. So when I'm talking about, you know, my Rain Meter projects and stuff like that, even though they are impressive from, a, you know, just a... a understanding of how the the math works and all of that i mean it's it's not something that for the most part people are really going to be able to recognize as being something that is impressive because they're like okay so you made a thing in somebody else's program you know like big whoop even though that's that's mostly the kind of stuff that i've done lately and it's also not a practical skill you're not gonna take that and run off to you know, a, a game development comp company and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I know how to use Rain Meter. You know, like, they're not going to hire you for that. Let's not be ridiculous. I really want to get some headshots off on you, like, right here. Yeah, just like that. That felt good. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I get him? Nah, we're going we're gonna to pop him in a moment, though, here. Uh, what am I stuck on? Reloading. This is not so great. Honestly, we're just gonna have to take this one. It's just, it's just gonna have to happen. I'm not gonna waste the bullets on the, the shields. Even though it is super helpful to have that, the amount of damage that we're able to dish out to him is already so incredibly high. 
but I don't think it's necessary. And it wasn't. There you go. Five more videos to go. I'm excited to get to the next week because I think the next week is going to work out a lot better because we are going to get the online videos kind of mixed in. And the recording session at the end of the week isn't going to be as long because I will have just recorded some of my KF2 that I've just been playing normally anyway. Because I play a lot of KF2 off camera too. And it's a fun game. I play a lot of it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.